What if I told you the next big job in tech is not about coding at all? AI. Tech jobs. AI. New job. Artificial intelligence jobs. It's hot. Damn hot. Because today, coding is just one piece of the puzzle. The future of work is shifting towards a new kind of builder, the AI product manager. Product manager. Product manager. Product manager. So what do AI PMs actually do and why are they suddenly in such high demand? To find out, I sat down with someone defining the role from the inside. Marnoush is a principal PM at Microsoft. While engineers are writing code, she's deciding what gets built why it matters, and who it will impact. Her team is stress testing AI systems for bias, safety, and trust, because let's be real, AI isn't just writing essays anymore. It's screening job applications, assisting doctors, and even shaping national security. So I asked her, what does being an AI PM actually look like? And how do you become an AI PM yourself when you have no experience in it? So stick around till the end because Menrush shares exactly what skills you need and how she made the leap herself. There are many different types of PM roles. First, let me start there. For example, as as we mentioned earlier, I'm an AI product manager and my mission is to make sure that this buzzword of trustworthy AI and responsible AI is operationalized and implementable for AI developers. Product management in every single team and company is defined differently. Some companies, they are in charge of designing the product prototype and pass it to developers. In some other companies, it might be more like on the marketing side. At Microsoft, it's very full stack, so you're in charge of developing and designing the vision and taking it to the finish line and launching it. Ranush made it clear, to be a successful AI PM, you have to understand AI. It's impossible to be a good and successful AI product manager if you don't understand AI itself. Because you're supposed to put either tools that are empowered by AI or tools for developers to build AI with. This is really not optional, whether you're coming from design, research, or data science. Getting hands-on with AI tools is the best way to start. And if you want to learn more about concepts like AI agents or basic AI in general, I have videos like this one or this one, so check them out later. Well, the role of AI PM is quickly becoming the one of the most important jobs in tech. In fact, Andrew Ng predicts that AI product managers will soon become way more important than any other jobs including engineers. The AI product management role is kind of like combination of all. So you have to do market analysis and research in order to understand what are the trends and what is the latest greatest. You have to sometimes even prototype something. Coming from an engineering background, I thought this was really interesting how the two roles are almost merging. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jean. I was an early engineer at WhatsApp and later on engineering manager at Meta after the acquisition. And after 20 years of working in tech, one thing is really clear to me, our roles are always evolving. And now with AI speeding everything up, I think we'll see even more crossover in the future. Like PMs are doing more light coding using no code or low code tools. And engineers are stepping into strategy, prototyping and research using tools like ChatGPT and more. The future work might not be about rigid job titles that lock you into specific responsibilities, but it'll be more about how you can solve problems. If you think about it, the whole idea of job specialization really took off during industrial era. People like this guy, Adam Smith, came up with this new way of working to keep factories working efficiently. But now robots and AI can handle most of the repetitive tasks. So human value is shifting back to creativity or critical thinking and really connecting the dots with problem solving. That's why roles like AI PM are on the rise. Human strengths is not about fitting into one box. It's about wearing multiple hats. But with AI comes responsibility. And as AI moves faster than ever, one question becomes critical. How do we make sure we're not baking in bias or causing harm through AI? I'm a strong believer that trustworthy AI equals AI. So there is no way, especially with generative AI, and especially with agentic AI, there is no way you can build an AI and put it out there and think that trustworthy AI is an aftermath or it's something that you need to maybe one day put in place. We don't have any excuse anymore. The tools that we're putting out there 
makes it easier than ever to evaluate generative AI applications to apply the right agent guardrails or data guardrails or content guardrails to your AI, makes it easier than ever to apply data sensitivity labels, and makes it easier than ever to observe your AI post-production and monitor how it's impacting your people. So just build all of that into the very core and fabric of model development. It probably take literally a couple of extra steps, but it'll the gain that you're going to have from it is just unmeasurable. So what I'm hearing is that with all the newest development and tooling, there's really no excuse to Absolutely not do it. Absolutely not. And many of these tools, actually all of them, they can apply to any endpoint. You can attach all of these tools to them and make it responsible and trustworthy. Well. Okay, let's rewind a bit. How did Menrush get here? And more importantly, how can someone without a technical background follow a similar path? If you want to become a product manager, you start with gaining expertise in the field that you're interested in. So for example, if you start getting very hands-on with AI solutions, then find maybe a little low pressure opportunities to transition from where you are to the product management role. Some companies allow for you to shadow your product managers. Some other companies might even allow you to transition for a little while to get a sense of day-to-day -day product management. A lot of companies like Microsoft hire people um, who are coming from non-traditional backgrounds. Yeah, I used to work at Meta. So at Meta, they used to have this program called Rotational Product Manager Program, where you can try out different teams for three months. Microsoft yeah. has a program called the MADAP program, and they form groups of five, two data scientists, two developers, and one PM. And for two years, every six months, this team rotates. At the end of their two year, they choose which team they want to join. I've linked both programs in the description if you want to check them out later. These kinds of programs really matter because breaking into AI can be discouraging. Even Menush was repeatedly told that she would be wasting her degree if she went into product management and that she couldn't make the switch because she didn't have any experience. But she proved them wrong. I'm very happy to be sitting here and saying that both of these statements were completely wrong. Career shifting in product management actually is very, very beneficial for the product management role because product management role requires a little bit of a multifaceted view of what is happening in that space. So if you have worn other hats, it's always helpful, but be very, very precise in your resume to highlight parts of your previous experience that will help you be a good product manager because that experience matters. And then you transitioning to product management hopefully follows fast. The way that I found my current opportunity is through networking, honestly. Mm -hmm. I uh, started going to a lot of local data science and product management gatherings. I met a few folks at Microsoft Cambridge. I was asking them if they were aware of any product management opportunities. Another way that I've seen very uh, successful women at Microsoft fund opportunities, Grace Hopper, actually. Oh, yeah. So as you know, companies actually mm -hmm. interview on exactly. site. And since you have access to the interviewers, you can also mention preferences. As I would like to actually go to product management roles. So Microsoft is one of them that hires fresh product managers with different backgrounds. So I highly recommend don't shy away from applying <laughs> from product management. One of the reasons why I started this channel was to help more people find their own path. Because success isn't just about following one perfect route. There are so many ways to make an impact in AI and working in tech, whether it's working as a software engineer, data scientist, or product manager. But the first step is to inform yourself. No matter what role you're aiming for, understanding AI is becoming an essential skill. So if you want to dive deeper into machine learning and deep learning, check out this video and I'll see you there. I think okay. I said AI 20 times. <laughs> AI, AI, AI. AI, AI. <laughs>